Welcome to What the Heck is That Phonograph, a video series where we'll explore odd and unusual phonographs. In this episode, we'll explore a rare first-generation tacophone with origins that are not well documented. Winant Van Zant Pierce Bradley started his phonograph career pirating Yarr. Berliner Records for Frank Siemens Universal Talking Machine Company. In 1902, Bradley trademarked the names Tocophone and Monogram, started the Ohio Talking Machine Company, and began manufacturing phonographs and records. Yarr. Bradley enlisted Albert L. Irish a prominent Toledo broker and real estate dealer to bankroll the company. Monogram records were produced in both 7 and 10 inch sizes for a very short time and are rarely found today. Bradley's second generation of Tocophone phonographs from 1904 and later is well documented in a catalog as well as with existing examples today. In the October 19, 1902, Chicago Inner Ocean newspaper is a tocophone ad that describes the first generation 1902 tocophone. Clockwork motor, oak case, nickel plated, sound box of standard make. Not very satisfying, is it? Let's examine the first generation 1902 tocophone. The overall form of the 1902 tocophone is recognizable, but subtle details prove it to be very different from the 1904 and later tocophones. The most notable difference between the 1902 tocophone and later 1904 tocophones is its 7 inch turntable. 1904 and later tocophones would be manufactured with 9 or 10 inch turntables. Next, note the 1902 Tocophone decal, the Ohio Tocophone. In 1903, Bradley renamed the Ohio Talking Machine Company to the Tocophone Company, as demonstrated on this slightly later decal. For 1904 Tocophones, the decal included the parrot mascot of the Tocophone Company. The case of the 1902 Tocophone is unique to this model and made from oak. Additionally, the bottom of the 1902 Tocophone case has a paper label that admonishes owners to only use monogram records under the penalty of law. The horn on the 1902 Tocophone has a brass bell and accepts a leather elbow. It is also decorated with a distinctive gold band. 1904 and later tocophones would use a planar brass bell horn with a detachable aluminum elbow patented by Harry Ensign. The support arm of the 1902 tocophone slips in and out of a shoe attached to the cabinet with screws, making it easily detachable for transport. 1904 and later tocophones would attach the support arm to the case directly with two thumb screws. The 1902 tocophone has a skeletal tone arm. 1904 and later tocophones have figural tone arms. The reproducer of the 1902 tocophone appears much more like a zonophone reproducer. Remember, Bradley previously worked for Frank Siemens Universal Talking Machine Company, and in the 1902 ad, the reproducer was described as a sound box of standard make. 1904 and later Tocophone reproducers look similar, but with a different needle bar arrangement that was patented by Albert Irish in 1904. The crank on the 1902 Tocophone is similar to, but much more robust than the later Tocophone cranks. The turntable brake of the 1902 Tocophone is a lever that works directly on the turntable, again similar to a Zonophone. And like a Zonophone, there is a separate speed control for the motor protruding through the top of the 1902 Tocophone cabinet. 
1904 and later tachophones have an on-off lever that also controls the speed of the turntable but does not interact directly with the turntable. Though not exact, the 1902 tachophone motor is a near copy of a zonophone motor. Note the similarities in the governor gears and spring barrel arrangement. The 1904 tachophone motor is much different and could have one spring or up to three springs. What the heck is that phonograph? I'll offer two possible answers. The 1902 Torco phone was a one-off prototype Torco phone. There is one incomplete documented first-generation 1902 Taka phone with the same attributes as this example, though it is a smaller cased model. Also, there are a few transitional Taka phones documented having the first-generation Taka phone support arm. The 1902 Taka phone is a rare example of a 1902 first-generation phonograph. Produced by Winnet Van Zandt Pierce Bradley. Even though factory records or a first generation 1902 Tocophone catalog have yet to be found, there is enough evidence to prove this is a production model of the first generation of 1902 Tocophones. One final piece of evidence in support of this conclusion is the serial number 300. It is highly probable that this phonograph is the first example of the third model in the series of first-generation 1902 Tocophones. As a final footnote, on February 8, 1908, the Tocophone Company of Toledo, Ohio filed for bankruptcy. In April that same year, Albert Irish filed for personal bankruptcy. And Winant Van Zant Pierce Bradley, well, he returned to pirating records, Yar. this time for the Continental Record Company. Yar. Thank you for watching this episode of What the Heck is That Phonograph? Yar.